On January 5, according to media reports, Dell plans to exclude all chips produced in China, including chips produced by foreign companies in China, from Dell products by 2024, and move 50% of its production capacity out of mainland China by 2025. This is the first international company with major interests in China to take the initiative to desinicize without clear political pressure. Dell, an internationally influential company that takes the lead in desinicization, will inevitably have a chain reaction on the global supply chain. So, what harm will this bring to China? Is Dell's move a corporate liberty or is it against morality? Hi! Welcome to TechTeller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. First, Dell's move will trigger a domino effect of desinicization of foreign companies. At present, the political pressure on foreign companies in China is gradually increasing. At the same time, the United States and some Western governments have introduced many subsidy policies to encourage international companies to desinicize. According to CNBC supply chain data for December 2022, U.S. manufacturing orders in China fell by 40% by the end of 2022. Although the reduction in orders is due to the impact of the epidemic and the holidays at the end of the year, Western countries have played a leading role in deliberately restricting Chinese manufacturing. Besides, according to media reports, following Dell, HP has also begun to investigate its suppliers, weighing the feasibility of shifting production and assembly out of China. Second, the desinicization of the international supply chain will close the window for China's technological progress. Relying on strong manufacturing capabilities, China has grown into the world's most efficient and largest output factory in the world. With the development of China's local supply chain, chip manufacturing, and other high-tech industries have also taken a free ride on rapid development. This is the underlying logic behind China's rapid technological progress in recent years, especially its growth into the world's largest chip market. At the same time, this is also the trump card for China's chip industry and China's technology industry to resist external sanctions. But now Dell has to eliminate chips made in China and transfer 50% of its production capacity. If international companies do this, China's high-end manufacturing will lose the support of a strong market, and the underlying logic of China's technological progress will be completely rewritten. Made in China and Chinese chips can only know the direction of market demand and technological progress and cultivate relevant talents only by joining the international supply chain, participating in international competition, and through business contacts with major international manufacturers. If it is excluded from the international market, it will be tantamount to closing the window for China's chip technology progress. Third, Dell's aggressive desinicization has had a huge impact on the environment of the PC industry. PC assembly seems to be a relatively low-end industry with a large output value, but the profit contributed cannot match the scale of the output value, and some core chips cannot be manufactured locally. However, the promotion of the PC industry to the high-tech industrial ecology is of great significance. If low-end assembly and manufacturing do not exist, and high-end chip manufacturing will also be transferred. Taking CPU and storage as an example, although chips are not manufactured in local foundries, a considerable number of CPUs are packaged in China. Although Chinese storage companies have suffered heavy losses, foreign companies have a large amount of memory production capacity in China. In fact, except for a few core chips, the vast majority of PC components are still made in China. If PCs are desinicized and other terminals follow suit, Hynix, one of the few international chip manufacturing companies, will have no reason to stay in China, and the efforts of Chinese electronics companies to enter the international supply chain will be blocked. The industrial environment formed around PC is as delicate and complex as any ecological environment in nature, and once damaged, it is difficult to recover. Moreover, in such a severe economic winter, the significance of such an important industrial cluster is self-evident. Well, Dell is an international company. Is it the freedom of the company to act like this, or is it against market rules and international morality? Well, first, Dell violated the public responsibility of the enterprise. 
Dell has been in China for more than 20 years, and the Chinese market has long been its second largest market. In the third quarter of 2022, Dell's shipments in the Chinese market ranked second, accounting for 11.7%. In recent years, China, as its main manufacturing base, has produced most of Dell's computers. Dell has obtained cheap production capacity from China, and at the same time has obtained huge sales in the Chinese market. When enterprises obtain economic benefits, they must return to society in various ways. Dell has made a lot of profits in the Chinese market. It is its due meaning to repay the Chinese market, repay Chinese customers and suppliers, and provide employment opportunities for China. However, Dell made such a decision to discriminate against the local supply chain without clear political pressure, which shows that Dell only wants to profit from the Chinese market and does not want to bear the responsibilities it should bear. Second, Dell took the initiative to politicize commercial interests. In recent years, Dell's PC business has gone downhill in the global competition, and its shipments have retreated to the third place in the world. According to Canalis data, PC shipments in the Chinese market dropped by 13% in the third quarter of 2022, and Dell's shipments dropped by 21%. But in the US market, Dell's shipments led its peers for the third consecutive quarter. Dell led the US PC market in terms of shipments with a 26.8% market share. The ebb and flow of the Chinese and American markets may be due to Dell's manipulation of politics to cater to American politicians and strengthen the US market by flaunting decinicization. Compared with American semiconductor equipment companies and chip design companies that have been pressured by the US government to sanction China and can lobby the US government to try to restore the situation, US companies have considerable room for maneuver on the issue of decinicization. If Dell respects the Chinese market, even if it is under pressure from the US government, it will try its best to get the US government to make certain concessions. 3. No country can tolerate Dell's approach. Global trade and globalization are still prevailing mainstream international norms. It is an unprecedented vicious anti-globalization incident that an international company actively discriminates against local chips and local supply chains. Just imagine, what kind of punishment will be suffered if this kind of behavior occurs in any Western market in Europe or the United States? Europe severely examines and punishes US technology giants in the name of digital sovereignty and anti-monopoly, while the United States severely criticizes Chinese internet companies in the name of data security. If this blatant violation of the principles of free trade and serious breach of corporate citizenship responsibilities occurs in the West, it will definitely be severely punished. Generally speaking, Dell's move is a proactive response to the narrow anti-Chinese trend of the United States and cooperates with the big plan of the US government to desinicize and decouple. It is also Dell's attempt to obtain more commercial benefits in the US market through dechinesization. If Dell harms China's interests unreasonably without any loss, it will be followed by other companies. So, what do you think of Dell's approach? How do you think China should respond? Well, thanks for listening. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.